everyone was Barbara? quiet, listening to the presentation. A good moment for John to ask Barbara out. Which one's Barbara? Barbara? Barbara! Barbara agreed. Oh, well, that's Barbara. Hi. She nodded. Sort of. Things were really going John's way. Yeah! Things are going my way. What? Why do I keep spitting out smoke? As suave as possible, and listen to Barbara talk business. He didn't want to blow his chances at long-term love and short-term sex. Yeah. Barbara began to talk about the feedback figures, and John started to zone out, imagining him and Barbara at the reunion. Oh my God! Couple. She would I'm make his it. classmates sick with envy. If he could get her to tone down the boring chatter. John's balls were gripped by certainty. Barbara was the perfect date for the reunion. Show off your skills behind the bar. Okay. John thought he would impress Barbara by going behind the bar and showing the bartender a thing or two. Sweet. Despite Barbara's protests that it was unnecessary, John knew that a true gentleman should follow her home. He was excited. There was still three months until That's not her the reunion, home? and he'd already landed his perfect date. Oh, All apples. All he had to do Hold on. was seal the deal. I had to eat some apples, girl. Seal Barbara the deal. thanked John for the evening, and politely did not invite him inside for coffee. Or sex. Even though John had dropped some pretty obvious hints he'd be into both. Or just the sex. The door slammed on John's hopes. Aww. He didn't understand. He'd laughed at all Barbara's pie chart jokes. He'd listened to her boring stories. The blank eyes of the lawn flamingos were witnesses to John's shame. Okay, I wasn't paying attention to that because I was too busy paying attention to the worm that just went in my butt. Yeah. So yeah. A worm just went in my butt. Brilliant. There was a worm in my butt. It's my house? Like where where is my house? Like where am I going? Go back and eat this. No? Okay. Cool. Alright, uh I don't know what it said to do. I'm gonna see if this is my house. Oh it is. Okay. Hello? Uh Uh Okay, I guess we're uh, restarting that chapter. Cool. John tried to act as suave as possible and listen to Barbara talk business. I don't know what happened. He didn't want to just broke. Chances at long-term love and short-term sex. Barbara oh, began to talk about monthly feedback figures, and John started to zone out. Imagine oh, there's a fork in my. Barbara at the reunion, a power couple. She would make his classmates sick with envy. If he could get her to tone down the boring chatter. Yeah, girl, you need to John's stop talking about work. Were gripped by certainty. Barbara was the perfect date for the reunion. John thought he would impress yeah, yeah, there we go. by going behind the bar and showing the bartender a thing or two. Yeah, look at this. I'm Despite pretty good. Despite Barbara's protests that it was unnecessary, John knew that a true gentleman should follow her home. He was excited. There was still three months until the reunion, and he'd already landed his perfect date. All he had to do was seal the deal. Barbara thanked John for the evening, and politely did not invite him inside for coffee. What? Or sex. Even though John had dropped some pretty obvious hints yeah, look. to both. Or just the sex. The door slammed on John's hopes. He didn't understand. He'd laughed at all Barbara's pie chart Okay, jokes. so my house is He'd this way. He'd listened to her boring stories. John began the lonely walk home, 
thoughts tumbling like shoes in a dryer. He had done everything wrong. Wow, nice Barbara billboard. had led him on just to humiliate him. John felt empty. How could he get love? He felt like he was missing something, some key to attracting sex. But John was shooting blanks. What did Peens want? Yeah, I am. Then it hit John out of nowhere. Stuff. He had the success. He just needed to show it off. But where was John going to get all the stuff he wanted? <laughs> From buttloads. John sign. <laughs> buttloads of stuff or buttloads of cash. Brilliant. Brilliant marketing. A new day, a new John. He waited outside his local buttload store for it to open, eager to spend his promotion bonus on stuff. The best way to impress women. Oh, shit. There's nothing like a rectum full of money to make a yeah, I guess not. feel like a man. Oh. Oh, well, that was all my money? I guess I'm not, I'm not really that rich, I guess. Oh, come on, don't do this to me. Come on. I can't get through. I can't get through. Oh my god. Uh oh, oh. Suddenly it there occurred we go. to John that he was going to make a lot of choices. And yeah, every I want one this. of those choices would I want tell this. the world who he was. Delicious. I'll take these. Also delicious. All of this. How could John decide? I'm just taking everything. John swallowed the last of the snacks. And his self-respect. I don't care. Mm. I'm taking it all, baby. Ooh. What would a date think when they sat in John's home? Comfort or style? Ooh. Uh, let's go with comfort, you know. John went with comfort. Yeah. Plus, it matched the couch he already had. John weighed up all the differences. But this was a tough choice. <laughs> this one, I want this one. John chose the extremely, obviously bad TV. What? This one. John realized that it was only two months and 29 days until the reunion. Oh, okay. Time. Lies. Cactus or Rose? Was John a rugged hero or a romantic Cactus. Hero? John yeah. had killed every plant he'd ever owned. This one would be a challenge. Oh, what? There was nothing John could take with him to the grave. What? Uh... I'm gonna go cheap, right? I'm gonna be dead. Except his coffin. John liked to get his pizza delivered. That way he could see Delilah, the delivery peen. She always made him smile. Uh. Go pineapple free. Yeah. Pineapple John free. knew that Delilah thought pineapple on pizza was an abomination. Okay. What bedding would ah. Delilah prefer? John couldn't help wondering. <laughs> I can't go with the regular pizza one. I can't do it. I'm trying to get laid. Just like the regular pizzas he regularly ordered. Devoid of any sense of style, buying new clothes would be John's toughest challenge. John felt sharp. Oh, this is snazzy. Like yeah. John yep. decided to go with the outfit. Music, the food of love. 
Should John go retro sophisticated or just retro? Retro. John's personal nostalgia was more important than sound quality. Every can was made of metal, pulled from the bones of the earth, wrestled to the surface and smelted in roaring This furnaces. one. I want this one. All so John could buy peas preserved in salty water and stick them up his butt. What? Oh shit. John's new purchases were on the way to his apartment. All he had to do was invite a date over. One look at all his stuff and they'd be overwhelmed with sexual desire. John felt proud and also hungry. It gave him an idea. He should invite Delilah over for dinner. Yeah. Yeah, bring her over for a nice dinner, sit down, listen to some music. John was excited. Delilah was on her way. He just needed to set the mood to romance. Classy. Okay. Okay. Uh. Shit. Okay. Wait, can we grab that with my butt? Okay, there we go. Yep, that's how you do it. Okay, that's what I thought. Scatter roses. I don't have any roses. I didn't buy any roses, did I? Oh, okay. And here I guess. John hoped she didn't have allergies. Oh, put them away. Go. That must be Delilah at the door. Okay, whatever. The door opened and there was Delilah. Oh shit. John gulped down his nerves and invited her in. John could tell that Delilah was impressed by his stuff. It was time to crank up the mood to seduction. What? I thought this was the wrong girl. John wanted to offer Delilah wine, but he'd already popped his cork. Delilah started looking as nervous as John felt. He assumed it was because she was shy too. They really were compatible. Of course, at the reunion, he couldn't mention Delilah was a delivery peen. That would be embarrassing. Oh no! Delilah